All right, we're here on a motion to modify conditions of bond to remove the GPS device. Uh, State, have you had a chance to review the document? We have reviewed, yes, Your Honor. Do you have objections? We do, Your Honor. We are not in agreement with that, but I believe defense uh, has a modification of their motion to which they'd like to take with the court. Yes. State, yes. So, Your Honor, Mr. Brazenio works in construction. Um, so the device is burdensome to him and we are asking that it be removed, but alternatively, what we would ask is the court's assistance in dealing with the pretrial officer. Mr. Brazilian is on partial house arrest right now. I literally thought he was on full house arrest. The pretrial officer has been so aggressive that Mr. Brazilian lost a job. He had just started when he contracted with me because of contact between that employer and the pretrial officer. The pretrial officer, I've spoken to him twice. He's one of the rudest people I've ever dealt with from the county. Um, he threatened to violate my client when our consultation ran a few minutes late. He would not give us more than an hour to meet. Um, he called in the middle of our consultation to verify that my client was physically present, despite the fact that he can tell my client's physically present because of the GPS monitor. It's, it's, it is incredibly burdensome to my client. So if you could just leave him monitored um, and remove the partial, that would solve our problem. But I don't know what's going on with pretrial. Um, my client's been nothing but polite to me. And I can tell you, I've been nothing polite but polite with this pretrial officer. All right, who's the pretrial officer? What's his name? Uh, Joe Garcia. All right. Talk with Ms. Ferguson. We'll have them zoom in. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Just have a seat. All right. Uh, Mr. Garza, are you the pretrial services officer for Luz Eduardo Brasenio? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So. These are the issues, and this is what I'm being told. I really don't deal in hyperbole. I just want the facts. So mm -hmm. I'm being told that Mr. Bersinio has employment. He works construction. And in the defense's motion, it says all hours of the night and required traveling depending on the jobs. All right, we're not going to do the all hours of the night. What I want to know is if he give, he's given a set time where he can be out on employment. Are you going to be able to follow through on that? Or do you need him to call in to say he's at him? He's um, working employment. So he would have to provide us the already set schedule for employment. All right. So here's the deal. It's construction. Usually they don't have a set schedule. And this is from my background in dealing with construction workers and doing a little bit construction myself. Mm -hmm. You don't know, unless you own the business, you don't know where they're gonna send you. They may need you one day in Guadalupe to lay foundation. They may need you one day uh, in Bear County to put up framing. They may need you one day in Travis County to do tape and float. So my question is, if he's given set hours, Let's say, for example, it's Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Can he pick up the phone, call you? If you're not there, leave a message and say, this is Luis Eduardo Brasino, SID number, give him your SID number. I am going to be at the construction site in Bear County, hypothetically, 300 De La Rosa. And then you can check on GPS. Either he's at 300 De La Rosa or he's not. If he's not, then that's a violation. Are we able to do that? Honestly, with that, I would have to step it with my supervisor because I cannot really say. All if right, the situation so comes to, then, and if, the, if my uh, supervisor agrees to it, then yes. Okay. All right. Just a moment. Can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. State yeah. your name for the record. Oh, Luz Eduardo Brisano. All right. What, are, what is your work schedule? Uh, uh, seven to five or six. It depends, 12 hours. So you're saying 7 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Yes, ma'am. What days? Monday through Friday, Saturday. Overtime. And it's uh the one I had it was it was overnight. There's gonna be night shift so from uh six to six in the morning. 
All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to allow him to work because he's already allowed to work because he's on partial. He's going to be allowed to work from Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. You should have some idea if they're going to want you to work the graveyard shift. You should know that. I know that much about con uh, construction. Yes, sir. If he's going to work the graveyard shift, then counsel, you'll have to send notice to the court that he's working the graveyard shift in the terms of a um, motion. Okay. I will sign it. And then you pick up the phone. You're going to call your pretrial services officer and you're going to say, again, this is Luce Brasenio, SID number. I am working at construction site at 300 De La Rosa. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. And guess what? If nobody answers, usually a recording will come on. Leave a message. I know sometimes it gets frustrating for people. You don't want to leave a message, but guess what? If you don't leave a message, you didn't call. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Is everybody on the same page? Yes, Your Honor, but may I be heard briefly? Sure. Judge, this pretrial services officer is the only pretrial services officer who has ever called me to verify that my client was physically present for a consultation that my client had approval to be at. He gave us a hard time because we ran a few minutes late. That was my fault. I have an email here where my client asked to go do laundry and go to the HEB a day ahead of time. And the only response from this pretrial services officer was an email back that just said denied. All right. So this here's the thing. It's been extremely difficult. So we just asked wow. them to be removed from the partial. No. I should also tell the court this is not a family violence case. It's going to be transferred back to CTD. OK, now this is what we're doing. What we are doing is exactly what I said we're doing. He's on partial for work only. If he wants to go do his laundry, if he wants to go to HEB, then that's a that's a motion for another day. We are just partial employment. And this is the court's ruling. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Understand? Yes, Your Honor. If it's going to be overnight, you need to let them know and counsel you need to file a motion. That's where we are. How about it, uh, some weekends and how you need file to a motion? you need to follow he he'll have to file a motion and you should know about that before the weekend comes. Yeah. And again, you need to pick up the phone, leave a message, and say this is the location. All right. We're all adults here. Yes, sir. Everybody treats everybody with respect. I do understand. And I'm ordering. Do I need to order everybody to treat everybody with respect? OK, I'm ordering everybody to treat everybody with respect, even if internally you don't respect the person outwardly respect the person. So. If you are going to. Be late, pick up the phone, leave a message with Mr. Garza. This is Luis Brasenio. This is my SID number. I'm running late. I'm still at the work site. And GPS will show that you're still at the work site. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. I understand because I see both sides, right? I understand he's calling, verifying you, that you're still at your attorney's office. No, this, was, this was 30 minutes in, Joe. Here's, here's the thing. This is where we are, people. We're starting off at ground zero. I've given everybody my orders. We're going to follow through with that. Nobody here is a toddler. You know, I'm learning from my niece that toddlers have demands and you need to answer those demands. <laughs> but so what we're going to do, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., 5 p.m., he's allowed to work. Even though I'm allowing you to work, on Monday, when you go to work, if you know you're going to be at 300 De La Rosa doing construction, pick up the phone, call Mr. Garza. If he's not there because you're not the only person he's supervising, pick up the phone, call him, leave a message, state your name, your SID number, and I'm at 300 De La Rosa doing construction. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If they send you to another construction site midday, your name, SID number, Mr. Garza, I've been moved to 200 De La Rosa to do construction. Are you able to do that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And here's the thing that I want everybody to understand. Everybody has a hard day. There are some days where you meet people at their job and guess what? They've had a hard day and they're taking it out on everybody and their patience is non-existent. I always try to have patience. And even when I'm having a hard day, I just smile. Cause you know what? Once you smile, 
that makes the day better. Yes, now see, your problem has been solved. And then if you want to do the HEB and all of that, that's for another day. Let's solve the problem before me now and we'll go from there. Now, Mr. Garza, we're off the record. Mr. Garza. Yes, Your Honor. Is there an email that you maybe want his attorney to send an email saying where he's at as a follow-up or is just his calling enough? Uh, I would be preferred to be either or uh, both call and an email. Uh, Mr. Brasino does have my email address. All right. So, Mr. Uh, Brasino, are you able to email through your phone or no? Yes. Your Honor. All right. So then that's what we'll do. And guess what? Having an email, that's good for you because that's a paper trail. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I am going to order. Um, is there anything else? No. Um, would uh, Mr. Garza mind sending me an email directly to my email, which he should have, but and also would he mind if I asked, does he speak any Spanish? Because it might help with some of our communication issues. Yes, I do speak Spanish. Okay. All right. Are you a Spanish speaker? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. All right. If there's nothing else, then that will be that. Okay. Thank All right. you thank very you. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you Judge. You. You're welcome.